Life has not been easy for Poland, an Eastern European country that has been invaded and destroyed many times over the centuries. The country suffered mightily in World War II when many of its citizens, including its large Jewish population, were hustled off to Nazi concentration camps. The Polish spirit, however, refused to die and today the country combines medieval architecture with lively cultural activities to meet the needs of modern tourists. An overview of the best places to visit in Poland. The Byloza Forest is a large remnant of the primeval forests that once covered much of Europe. The forest straddles the border between Poland and the Republic of Belarus, and there are border crossings for tourists on foot or on bicycles. The Byloza Forest is the only place where European bison still remain free and living in the forest as they once did throughout Europe. Wolves, lynx, red deer, wild boar, elk and roe deer are among its other inhabitants. Also known as Danzig, Dansk is the largest city in northern Poland and its main seaport since it lies on the Baltic Sea. Founded around the 10th century, it has a mixed political history, at different times it belonged to Germany and Poland and was a free state before permanently becoming a part of Poland after World War II. The city rebuilt itself after the war, restoring its old town, which is famous for the royal road that Polish kings traveled on when visiting this historical city. Krakow might be described as a rags to riches city, since it went from being a 7th century village to the second most important city in Poland being known for its cultural, artistic, academic and economic activities. During World War II, the Nazis herded Jews into the Krakow ghetto where they were later sent to concentration camps. The movie Schindler's List centered around one man's efforts to save the ghetto residents from extermination, located on the Vistula River. This former Polish capital is easy to get around, since attractions radiate out from Old Town, considered the best old town in the country. Lublin, located east of the Vistula, is another ancient city with a marketplace that may have dated back to the 6th century. Because it is located on Poland's eastern border, it became, early on, a line of defense against various invaders that destroyed the city over the centuries. It also was home to one of the largest Jewish communities in Poland. Evidence of Lublin connecting Western and Eastern cultures can be found at the Holy Trinity Chapel that blends Catholic and Russian Byzantine styles. The medieval town of Malborg, perhaps better known by the German name of Marienburg, is most well known for its castle, which was ordered built in the 13th century by the Knights of the Teutonic Order as their headquarters. Europe's largest Gothic fortress is named after the Virgin Mary, the patron saint of the city and castle. The castle is actually three castles, making it the world's largest brick castle. It took 230 years to build the castle, a majority of which was destroyed during World War II. Student travelers wanting to meet their Polish peers might want to visit Poznan, long known as an academic center and home to Poland's third largest university. The city hosts many international events, including the Malta International Theatre Festival that takes place every summer. Major sites are easily accessible by strolling the Royal Imperial Route, a walk set up especially for tourists. Athletes may enjoy a visit to the artificial lake of Malta, home to a ski slope, ice rink, and swimming pools. Travelers who crave scenic beauty will find it in Tafra National Park, located in south-central Poland, established in 1954. The park is mainly forests, meadows and numerous rock formations covering the Tatra Mountains. Spelunkers may enjoy touring six of the park's 650 caves that are open to the public. 
the park also offers more than 30 alpine lakes as well as the Wielka Cyclawa waterfall that is 230 feet high. Trun, located on the Vistula River, is best known, perhaps, as the birthplace of Copernicus, but it's just as well known for its old marketplace and gothic town hall that the National Geographic Poles could put on its list of the 30 most beautiful places in the world. As Trun escaped bombing during World War II, the city still boasts numerous buildings that date back to the Middle Ages. The capital of Poland might aptly be compared to a phoenix rising from the ashes. Founded around the 12th century, Warsaw was pretty much destroyed during World War II, but has rebuilt itself into a thriving historical and cultural center, complete with a restored old town, once known as the Paris of the North. It also is famous as the home of classical composer Frédéric Chopin. Travelers of all ages will enjoy a visit to the Copernicus Science Center, where hands-on activities are bound. <music> Located on the Oder River, Wrocław is the largest city in western Poland. Over the centuries it has been governed by Prussia, Poland. Germany and Bohemia, but has been part of Poland since 1945. The former capital of Silesia is still less well known as some of the other places to visit in Poland but can definitely compete when it comes to amazing architecture.